everyone, you're tuned into the East African Social Television. Now, East Africa woke up to very bad news this week as we lost Daniel Arab Moy, one of the president, long serving presidents of Kenya. And he's not the only person who East Africa lost. We actually lost another gospel artist as well called Papa Dennis. Now, so much is been surrounding his death. Other people think it is suicidal, while other media personalities and, uh, of course, uh, a judiciary thinks it was homicide. They are still investigating the case. But anyway, Papa Dennis's uh, post mortem is uh, scheduled for today. My name is Juliana, and this is the East African Social Television. Now, the family and police will on um, um, Tuesday conduct a post mortem on uh, the late uh, gospel musician uh, Papa Dennis. Uh, Dennis was found on Friday morning in an apparent suicide and Papa is said to have left his twin brother Simon Mwanji and a producer in a studio before he was found dead on the extreme left side of the Kirima building in Nairobi's Pangani estate. Uh, the post-mortem will be at the city mortuary tomorrow in the morning, the family told the uh, media, and the studio is on the right side of the large ash-looking building where a number of families actually live. He then picked his phone and charger in the middle of the session and left, telling his brother and the producer that they were giving him a hard time, a friend told media. Uh, the caretaker told... Uh, uh, told us that he is uh, the one who informed the brother and producer after tenants raised an alarm that a stranger had fallen from the fourth building on the floor. Now people say it's actually very hard to fall from the fourth building on the floor. It's maybe he found a way of doing it by passing through some other person's house or he was pushed by someone else. We are not even sure how he succeeded uh, or accessed to the extreme side of the building. Since all the gates were closed, the other option would be going through someone's house or using the roof, which is very hard, the caretaker said. Now let's go and talk about depression. Depression has been affecting so many celebrities in East Africa, not only Kenya, not only Tanzania, but even in Uganda. Uh, so many celebrities have been checked in into mental health facilities because of depression. Now, let's look at depression uh, in uh, accordance to uh, Papa Dennis. Close relatives and friends and other artists believe that the Nashukuru hit singer has been suffering from depression due to financial problems. Uh, this is someone saying that when I saw him on Friday dead time, he was totally drunk, disturbed and looked very tired, the caretaker said. The caretaker neighbors say that Papa Dennis moved into the studio where he was born dead on Saturday on Thursday night with only a mattress and a blanket. Now his former landlord had locked him out of his Jamuhuru estate house and the couple who had held him briefly had become violent. That is when Mujuki, the owner of the studio at Kirima House on the Thika Road, asked him to stay in the studio to rehabilitate himself, a close relative told media. Uh, Papa Dennis was reported to be having issues with his uh, girlfriend of two years who acts in a local television series and on Friday at 11 a.m. Papa Dennis called Mujuki who told him that the pe people were fighting in the house that hosts the studio. Now the caretaker did inform us that when someone opened it was actually Papa Dennis who opened the door. The owner of the studio called me and when I knocked at his door uh, to find out what was happening, Papa opened the door. The caretaker said he picked his phone and left on a motorbike heading to the Muthiaga side of Fika Road. And then Papa Dennis returned later and was joined by his twin brother Simon Mwanji and a producer for a music recording a session at the same studio. Excuse me. Uh, he had called his brother to bring him his passport. We are not sure where he wanted to go. A friend uh, told um, uh, told police. And then they let Papa Dennis's ex-girlfriend, Martha, a former actress at Machachari, says she's hurt and feels guilty that he passed on before they could even meet. He told me people wanted to kill him, she said. I think at this point we have to learn lessons that at times when people call our phones, we should stop maybe ignoring people's calls. And plus, if you love people, show them, don't wait for them to pass, and then you write all these stupid things on social media. Martha right now is regretting because Papa Dennis wanted to talk to her for a very long time and she kept ignoring the calls, standing him up, like when they were supposed to meet, she kept on counseling, and then 
uh, he, the guy even went ahead to say, to confirm that people wanted to kill him, but Martha did not even show, like, he, 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 she was not there for him when he needed someone to talk to. I think that is a regret that she's going to live with for the rest of her life. Guys, tomorrow is not promised. If you love anyone, your family members, your friends, or whoever they are, show them that you really actually care and love them. My name is Juliana. It's the East African Social Television. May his soul rest in eternal peace. Don't you forget also go right ahead and write your condolence uh, messages to the gospel artist Papa Dennis. Do stick around. Hey, 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 shit.